Hey everyone, and welcome to Mac OS Genius on the YouTube channel. Uh, you probably found me through by going to plexgenius.com. That would direct you to my site, and anything related to Plex and more is on this channel. So what I wanted to go through today is that I was organizing my data, my videos, my movies, and so forth. But I did come across, like I went through the directory. So like, let me go through for an example. Uh, let me go to my remote computer. There's my Plex server. So let me go into one of these. Here it is. And the drive is right up here. Uh, it's actually an external. I did have an internal, but my internal is already maxed out with data space. So I put a four terabyte here. Uh, so let's say I was going through here and I was going through movies and I was organizing them. Uh, they don't have to be per resolution. It's just easier for me so I know what and where they might be located. So uh, I would open it. But what if you were organizing like myself or maybe you weren't and you have them all piled in one directory like like this or in folders or if you had them all the way down here if I can try to get there. Yeah, there's a lot of movies. Okay, so what if you had them all like here where they're all like right next to each other but they could be a different name like for an example Bad Boys for Life. Okay, so there's one there and there's Bad Boys 2. Uh, different year, okay, but what if this Bad Boys for Life, for an example, or this one here, uh, had a different character to it, and so now you have two copies of the same one. So what uh, I notice is that, like, say, if I minimize this, that's my server. So let me open up the Plex player. So here's my player, and so now if I select on more, select on movies, now I can expand this completely, but I'm going to try to use both screens. So what I've been doing is I've been noticing there's duplicates or triplicates of the movie. So as I scroll down, you see how there's two right here where it says number two right below this little pointer arrow that I have. Uh, that's for the Avengers Infinity. What you can do is on here, just select the ellipsis of the three dots. Uh, they'll pop up and then you have play version on top. Okay, so if you hit play version, it tells you, do you want 4K or do you want 1080? I'm okay with 1080 and I'm okay with 4K because I have some people with 4K, some people with 1080. I do have some people with 720 as well. But if you want to organize your files and say, you know what, I don't want 720. I should just have 1080 and more. Okay, so like for an example, is right here is what I'll say. So right down here, right below the arrow, it says 2 and it says bad boys. But there's two versions. So now if I go here to the three ellipses, select on play version and then it gives me 1080 and 720 now the 720 is 0.6 megabits per second so it's going to be probably choppy really bad uh, uh, resolution and so forth so if I wanted to clean that up or if this was said SD for standard uh, definition or if it has said maybe 460p or so forth then if I wanted to get rid of it you can do two things you can do one it says 1080 and 720. Depending how you're organized with your files and so forth, you can go here and like say, this is my server. Or if you work directly on your server and you don't want to, uh, you know, go through a Plex player. I try never to touch my server unless it's necessary. So I always do it through a player. So if that says, what did it say again? It says 1080 and 720. So in the 720, there's a bad boys in here. So let's get this open. Excuse for the delay. It's just, I don't know, it's been, it's Mother's Day, probably all the, all the kids are on the computers now. Uh, happy Mother's Day for anyone out there, or really pretty much it's like Happy Parents Day for mothers and fathers. Um, so this is 720 and I'm looking for bad boys and I do not see bad boys at all in here. Okay, so you don't see it. So it might be in a different folder or a different subfolder. So let me scroll all the way down. I still don't see bad boys anywhere. Okay, so that, that's an issue. It says there's a, there's a 720p. I'm in the 720p under movies and I still can't find it. So let's go under 1080p. And this is why I have it organized in a certain way. So if I go to 1080p and I look for bad boys. Okay, there's bad boys too. There's Bad Boys for Life, so that's three, and I'm looking for the 1995 version, which is Bad Boys 1. 
So let me scroll all the way up here. Oops. Nope. Keep going. Excuse for the delay. A lot of movies, a lot of movies. Bad boys, where are we? There we go. Bad boys, we have two bad boys. We have a 1983 and a 1995. 1983 is actually the first, first one. Uh, not by uh, it, not by Martin Lawrence. It's right here, as you can see. It's Bad Boys 1983. So it's the one uh, way, 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 way prior its time so like we're going to do bad boys here so remember how we couldn't find it the 720p uh for some reason and uh in the 720 directory so that means it's missing somewhere or it's misplaced somewhere so what you can do here in your plex player you can also do this on the plex server app as well if you wanted to but i'm doing it in two different computers so we you can select on the three ellipses and then when it pops up and it says play version what you can do, you can't check what those two different versions are. Where are they? You want to know the directory. Where is that directory located? So what you want to do, you want to scroll down here where it says split apart. So remember how it says two in there? It could be three. It could be four copies. If you do split, it's going to keep them as bad boys or whatever the name of the movie is. It's going to split them so they're all individually. And then you can look it up, look them up uh, through the directory. So we're going to split. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to split these apart? I'll say yes. So now you see right here where my cursor is, you only see one bad boys with the yellow background. So I hit yes. Now you should see two. Okay, so now this helps me down to break it apart. So now this one, I don't know which version this is. So you select on the three ellipses. And you can go play next. But what you want to do is really select get info. So let's get the info. And here is the directory that it's pointing to. So this is a 1080p, Bad Boys 1995. This is the 1080p folder. Uh, 1995 is right here. So this one is there, and to revalidate, it says here the video resolution is 1080p, so that helps you more. This one I do not want to delete, so I'll just go ahead and hit the X on there. Now this one here, I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go down here at the bottom, select Get Info. Once we hit that, now here it shows me the directory. So the directory is blah, 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 blah. It says movies, but it's under a folder called unknown res. Ah, so now what we do is we go back. And again, this is because I have this organization. I like to know what's what. So I expand unknown res and there we go. We have bad boys in 95. It says it's a Blu-ray rip at 550 megabytes. It is 577. Uh, the other one that's under 1080, it's might be, what is it? It's two gigs or uh, 1.5 gigs. So I rather keep the higher resolution. So what I can do is here, you can either delete the files here. It's going to ask you, are you sure? And then I'll delete it here on the left hand side from your server. Or you can delete it here from your server and you can just hit the little X here in the top right and then that file would disappear, the Plex. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and hit delete. It says, are you sure you want to delete this file from your file system? So it's gonna delete it from here. Okay, so let's uh, shrink this window a little bit smaller. So now we're gonna say, yes, delete, because we don't want the lower resolution, we want the highest resolution, or the resolution expected to use. So I'll go ahead and hit delete. Give it a moment and it disappears there on the left side. It's not there. So if you go to my trash can and there it is scanning complete, there it is bad boys and it's deleted it. So now if I look on the right side, so when someone tries to play, uh, they can hit this and they see next. So that means they can play it instantly and they're getting the best resolution out of there. Now, for an example, this bad boys here, bad boys for life. I have two here up uh, right underneath the arrow, okay? So if you wanted to, on your Apple TV or on your computer or so forth, when you play it, the uh, three ellipses, if there's two copies, and you want to know what versions there are. So you can do play version, and look, I got a 4K resolution, and I have a 1080. So now you can pick whichever the one that you can pretty much support and make it work. I'm running a one gig download and uh, I normally get an average of 970 
970 megabits per second for downloads and my uploads are close to like 300 megabits upload. I'll say for an example, what if you came across one of your shows or so forth and they were not merged together and you want to merge them together. So what you would do is select on the three ellipses, whichever one it is, uh, left or right, and then you want to select on uh, fix match. Once you select on fix match, it's going to search your whole database, your, your whole library, and it's going to look for another one called Bad Boys for Life. And there you go. It found one that's bad for Bad Boys for Life. You select it or you select the multiple different versions. Or you can do a search options too if you want it. Maybe it was in an acronym. Maybe it said BBFL or something. So you select it. And now, as you can see, it merges both of those into one. And that's why there says two. So hopefully that helps you out in knowing how to split it apart, how to find the one that you want to get rid of that could be a standard resolution or so forth, whatever the case is. Um, and you want it to make sure you organize it properly and get the proper organization. Uh, so thanks for visiting the MacOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to select uh, check on plexgenius.com and that would redirect you over to my site and you can click on my YouTube link from there. All right, well, thanks and have a great day.